Let's talk about the flamenco thing. <laughs> yeah. I want to I want to play this and see how bad. I haven't I haven't listened to This will be my first time reacting to the Mike the Bike song. Apparently Mike the Bike did a song calling Flamenco a pedophile. I so this see how song bad this really is. is about I love our the fucking friend. Set. <laughs> yeah, what is this set by the He's investing like money into this shit. Oh my god, dude. This is like the, he's got he's got the nice microphone. Like this is like hundreds of dollars he's invested. He's got <laughs> look at the fucking audio like interface on the right. Fucking Salvo coin pays well, dude. Flamenco. advocate here of course you know they're saying flamenco leave those kids alone that doesn't necessarily mean that they're calling him a pedophile right uh <laughs> the I'm whole just... song is a... <laughs> isn't the well you know what guys in his defense well how about that that is a song about flamenco the com the commentary pedophile oh well <laughs> oh no no he, he meant uh 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 <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's very clear what that song is about and why uh, he commissioned I it. Know, and being a fucking being a goofball, man. Give me. A it is a goofy song, I guess, but like I can one hundred percent understand okay, Flamenco gonna, being upset we're at gonna my. We're going Flamenco's reaction now. I think he's being a little hypocritical because of the MC Jarbo thing, right? Because if you remember, Ralph got upset at me and Nick because we played an MC Jarbo song, and the song like it called Ralph a fucking pedo and it called Ralph like a horrible person. I think a rapist too, even. Before before the fucking rape allegations, right? And so Ralph fucking, apparently the day that we played that song, Ralph like hated us or something like that, right? Or at the very least he hated me, which is, I think, weak. I don't know. Are you allowed to be ass mad at that a little bit? Maybe, sure. I mean- I have a question. What? For the Ralph songs, were they actually like proven stuff he's done in the songs or was it just no, like the, well, rumors and allegations? No, 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 no. the Ralphs, they just, they say the horrible shit. They, all the Monday Mass songs is about him getting like fucked by black dudes or something. Something. Do you think that oh, actually yeah. happened? Like, no. But they're I mean, stuff like crude fucking. They're know, brutal. I'm not saying the song's not brutal. Or whatever, um, Flam, like, Flam is asking to be dragged on. You mind if I drag him in? All right, well, let, let, let's hear him out. Let's, let's, let's hear him out. Flamenco. So, is it true that you've banished Mike the Bike from your community? Is he uh, not yeah, not allowed anymore? Not my streams anymore? What do you think? Like, don't you think that that's like a Ralph move though? Like with the MC Jarbo stuff? Well, no. Ralph spurred out at you for playing MC Jarbo songs on your stream. Okay, so you're just mad at Mike? Is that is that what the difference is? Yeah, specifically Mike. You don't think like it, it's? I mean, you don't think it's just like a fucking meme or like it, you, Mike doesn't actually think you're a pedophile do you think that uh, okay so it's okay when people call it as long as it's a joke well i mean like we come from a spear where it's like stuff like shit like this like 
we say I mean, we joke about fun. everything. We, like, we say the most shit, horrible you know? shit about each other. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever joked calling you a pedophile, though. You but you have joked. laughed at MC Jarbo calling Ralph a pedophile, right? Yeah. I don't think he ever called Ralph a pedophile. I think he called Pantsu a pedophile. Wasn't like the whole okay. point of the song, like about how he's like the fucking Memphis pedo or something with Faith or something? And I don't know. Well, I feel he, like he's he makes like direct allusions. Uh, uh, he makes direct allusions to like barely legal. So I don't know. Well, I mean that would. I mean that would kind of insinuate like pedophilia, right? I no, if they're legal, then it's not pedophilia. I mean, then why even call it out? Why even say barely legal? Why even point because, out? Because like a lot of people were saying that like it's weird that a like thirty five year old dude is okay. Here's some lyrics from old. MC Jarbo. As the kingpin of the fucking pedo ring, I'm from the Bible Belt. I get the kids young, and I got my own church. This is that. ridiculous. He called oh, him a pedophile. <laughs> okay, he did. Kitchen. He definitely yeah. did. So and I ain't yeah. talking about no college kids, son. If they can crawl, they can sure as shit run <laughs> okay oh my god so definitely called him a pedophile yeah <laughs> yeah okay yeah i'm glad know, we got that cleared I'm not up saying you can't be, i'm not saying you can't be sore about it but i think you have to acknowledge at some point like we come from a sphere where like horrible fucking shit is said about everybody and stuff like this right and i i, I just feel like it's like a little hypocritical to like cause like a moral concern over it i wasn't it really causing a moral it. concern of, over well, it you're though saying i fucked said up. like you actively helped a guy who constantly like like for no reason says that I rape kids and am a pedophile. Salvo, I do, I do, I do, Salvo I do. Is, on that Salvo note, is, I do. Salvo has literally said that I rape kids. On that note, I do understand it, especially after like the PPP thing. And I, with, with the, the, the other thing is like yeah. I don't like it's specifically with this. Like, would you guys be so laissez faire if somebody like made a song calling Bigby a pedophile? Well, obviously not, but that's like a more well. Of then a, um, I mean, I, I, I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not really tracking this there, logic though, right? where because it's okay when it happens. to me, but not when it happens it's just, to Bigby's like other people. It's just, from like the shithole internet that we're from though, right? Bigby's just trying to okay. do his fucking uh, thing and make videos. We're in it, we're engaged in a fucking toxic sphere where we, t where we make fucked up jokes about people all the time. You don't have to like them, but like Salvo is a fucking troll at the end of the day. Like that guy okay. literally just exists to like fuck with you. Well then, like okay, so, so how, I'm saying don't take him calling, seriously. Okay, like would when you, you take would, a troll seriously, if, you lose. If started calling Bigby a pedophile. Would you have like the same? Well, reaction? I just explained to you, it's different because Bigby's not oh. from the. Bigby doesn't engage in the same shit. Well, that why? We so Salvo's if Bigby, troll, dude. so if Bigby started talking about Ethan Ralph, like he made a video about Ethan Ralph, then it would be okay for that song to be made. Who, who well, he's saying because at? was that directed at me? It was directed at you, Augie. Yeah. Oh, say it again. I wasn't listening. I I thought you were talking to Flav. I was reading the chat. <laughs> no. So with Big B just made a video on I don't Ethan like, Ralph. Okay, first of all, I don't like that we're talking about Big B in the context of fucking like drama and shit, given that we kind of try to avoid that. But I don't know. For the sake of this fucking to answer I mean, the question, like tangentially related to my drama, because like we're both accused of kind of the same thing. So to answer the question, know. if someone made a song about Big B, like I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't care. That's his fight. Like it's not my deal. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like like we and like would I you think say you that lose like right you'd be out of line to be like angry at that person that made the song i don't know that it's out of line for him i would say that the reason why he's specifically augie's specifically talking about you is because you're from a side of the internet where mc jarbo was promoted you've promoted him before mm. specifically and mc jarbo called someone who is not a pedophile as far as we're aware anyway right he called him a pedophile directly and you were okay with that but well, then when it comes to you you're conflating like a serious allegation with like maybe we i'm have not a saying it's a serious oh, allegation well, like well maybe we have a different perspective on this big i when i look at like all the shit salvo says i don't take literally any of it seriously because i just know and now he's doing a bit like he's he's a fucking goofball like do you know how much like crazy shit he said about me he said he's gonna go after my fucking sponsors he said he's gonna do an expose stream on connor and like fucking expose him or some shit he said that he's gonna fucking uh like steal my fucking paid content and shit and stuff like like he says crazy shit all the time just to be a fucking like he's i i don't take any of it fucking seriously because it's just like yeah like, and if i was like getting yeah. angry specifically at salvo i would probably agree but i'm mostly getting angry at mike like helping him call me a pedophile yeah and it's perpetuating an allegation like unambiguous. that the song is like unambiguous the implication is that i'm a pedophile in that song and isn't it perpetuating an allegation that was brought up in a serious manner from like ppp and stuff like that not and then salvo just like kind of yeah i mean on that, that note i do on that note i sympathize because if i was on that stream with ppp and fucking warski i would be traumatized over it right like i would be very I, i'm not i'm not even 
and like i'm not even i'm not even like super upset with that specifically it's just like i i felt like it was i'm i'm more irritated with somebody that i thought i was like friendly with going out and making a song calling me a pedophile for a person who constantly just incessantly calls me that so it's more because it's mike because you're like you're like buds yeah, that's why i'm angry at, that's why i was angry oh at mike and was like really getting angry at salvo okay mm. well, i guess i guess that makes more sense i, don't I think his anger's justified i i, mean, I, I definitely do, i'm not I mean, blind I also, to like also, why you're so don't like salvo but... like i, I like well, that's if, clear you've always not liked yeah. him and i've always thought that you taken him too seriously though like i've always thought yeah. that you see him as like a actual like threat and i, oh, just I don't would see agree no i don't really view him as an actual threat at all i just like I don't like him, and I don't think that, like, tolerating people making that sort of stuff is, like, a particularly wise endeavor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, de I, I do agree with you on, like, the point about, like, the PTSD from fucking, you know, pedophilia. It's not even PTSD. It's just, like, I'm a little defensive about it. I'm a little, like, you know, I don't treat it as much of a, a laughing joke. You know what I mean? Yeah, and the allegation isn't, like, random. Like, if if, Sal if none of the PPP stuff happened and Salvo was randomly, like, flams a pedo, obviously be annoying but like the fact that there was that previous allegation that got debunked and then he's further perpetuating it is probably makes it worse right flamenca uh yeah something like that apparently mike the bike wants in is that all right yeah sure yo what's up what's up man uh so, so what's so have you been listening to the stream no i'm i'm on vacation but i started seeing people <laughs> on twitter saying that it's going down again apparently well F flamenco was just coming on explaining his side of why he got so pissed off at your song he thinks that you basically uh, given that you guys were on friendly terms, he sees like your song is like kind of uh, disrespectful and something he didn't expect he would take a part in or something. In fairness, I've already like kind of cooled down. I'm not like as angry anymore too, just for the well, record. I just don't think like I wouldn't like friendly is the correct term, but neutral is a more correct term. Like if you look at That's our DMs true. before our argument, the only other two tw uh, DMs between us is me sending you my new Twitter, which we never followed each other on and me sending you the uh, Hassan Piker song, which you never reacted to. So, like, we didn't really have any sort of history other than us being cordial with each other. So yeah, that's I don't why I never said friends. Any... I said friendly. Right, but if I'm totally neutral with you, I don't see how it's a betrayal in any sense of the form. Like, that's like, if I do a song on Keemstar, it's a betrayal against Keemstar. It's like, well, I don't well, I don't have a problem so with Keemstar. My, but... my rationale is, is that, like, when Salvo calls me a pedophile, he's had, like, an openly antagonistic relationship with me from the very, like, onset. I don't consider well, that a betrayal because he's always been a schizo towards me whereas like with you like we've never had like any sort of beef before so suddenly you making a song calling me a pedophile seems uh, a little bit like uh, a stab in the back well you want to keep hammering the point that i called you a pedophile i insinuated you were one i didn't directly call you one yeah the very also, clear implication have you gone is, like, have you have you gone have you gone back on the mc jarbo point because of multiple people have found multiple lyrics where it's not even someone else singing it it's using ralph's own words to call him a pedophile yeah no so, I, I completely walk back on that. Okay. You try to compare the situation to Zaptai. You do understand that Zaptai was actually canceled and actually had to leave the internet. Meanwhile, there were cancellation attempts on you, but you managed to get out of those with everyone saying you took the W on both I've situations. I've lost subscribers and like overall concurrent viewers. So Have, no, it actually still... has impacted me. Oh, you're right. That's definitely equatable to leaving the internet and having to totally change also, your name. I don't know if these situations are comparable at all though, because Zaptai didn't really defend himself, did he? Yeah. And he just no, like he leave he and like, yeah, but F Flamenco did defend himself. It's like different situations, the way he reacted or but they also each the people, reacted. Also, the people calling out Zaptai were people that at the time were credible. At the time, I'm Alex was considered yeah, credible. Yeah, and, and his friends. People his in my sphere is considered well. PPP credible. So, PP, it, oh, well, did I, did I, I do a song for PPP? I just don't think it's comparable. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, uh, Bubblax. Is PPP the one I did the song for or was it for Salvo the Troll that no one takes seriously? So it's the differences if Salvo commissions it now or? No, the di I've already explained this to you. If Ethan, Ralph, if Xander Hall, and let's add PPP, if any of them asked me to do it, they are taken with okay. some level of credibility. I would not have done it. Salvo asked me to do it. Salvo's literally a troll who was like, I can't even hammer the point that he was like sticking two cigarettes in his mouth while listening to my song. Like there is no reason at all anyone takes, no, no one does take him credibly at all. Again, I've, I've already said that multiple times that if someone serious, if someone credible asked me to do the song, I would have said no. You but think now- people take you seriously in these spheres, uh, Mike? Uh, do I think people take me seriously? Yeah. Not 
particularly i have a i don't think my reputation is bad but i don't think i'm the most credible source i make are, are like are you considered songs. a troll in the spheres that you're in no i'm also someone with less than two thousand subscribers so mm -hmm. i'm practically a nobody in comparison to you well okay, so all your songs are parody songs anyway that are just like yeah. calling boogie fat or whatever yeah all my other songs are parodies probably the most serious critiques i have as parodies are probably the one about technicals or the one about deaf noodles but those are still not serious they're just songs. Are there any other points? Uh, I don't know. Well, Nick's in here. Is Nick on? Hey! What's going what's on? Yo, what's up? I'm just sick and tired of your shit. Like, this is probably the last straw for me. I don't understand this at all, so I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. I hope you can kind of help me out with some are you, answers. Are you talking to Flam? Yeah, I'm talking to Flam. So, sure. I just want to know, you're the guy who goes and does the IBS content where you cover Ethan Ralph and you laugh about songs calling him a fucking pedophile all the time. You sit on the Kiwi Farms, you're talking about Xander Hall's girlfriend and his family and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You're hanging out with PPP, the guy who just literally makes shit up on live stream and you'd know that better than anybody. And and Big B does like movie reviews. So when I hear, oh my God, Flamenco is really mad that somebody made a parody song calling him a pedophile. You roll around in mud all fucking day. You what, you got a little on your shoe? Now you're gonna be a big pussy about it on stream? Who do I call? randomly pedophile on the internet. You play the songs, you laugh when it happens to Ralph. What's the fucking difference? Wait, wait, wait. No, you literally on. launched it. You launched an uncredible allegation. You launched an uncredible allegation saying mm -hmm. that Keffel's fucking laundered money from her Soviet whatever, this. and you base it off that some fucking retard on Kiwi Farm saying it. That was your proof no, that you promoted. They, that was the person on Twitter that was saying it before they blew up. Okay, and? Well, wh where's the proof of that one, Flamanco? You sat there and debated Aiden on why you can just post on uncredited allegations publicly. I'm getting a little sick and tired of you having like random fucking blow up moments and then coming to Augie and then Augie kind of like smooths things over in the community and then How you go back around and act like a retard over, right? again. Because you come on here and you do your little rounds and you have your little conversation and then everyone thinks you're okay again. I'm getting sick and tired of these random flamenco meltdowns. I'm getting tired random? of you saying that you're- How is it random? Well, I mean, I don't- Normal people don't How go out and say that they're gonna go random, like man? contact fucking Xander Hall's mom flamenco. That's not a okay. normal thing that normal people do. Okay. Okay, and normal people also don't randomly fucking call people pedophiles. Yeah, well, welcome to your community, asshole. That's what, all what those my do, community? all the stuff you cover. That's all that Actively, shit is. How is it my Are community? you gonna tell me you've never insinuated that Ralph is a bit weird because he was talking to the 18-year-old girl? You've never gone a little I, over I, the top I on say it. it was weird. I, never, I never called him a pedophile. Well, Flam, you've told me that you think that Vosh is like friends with pedophiles. Yeah, I think he probably is. I don't think he himself is a pedophile. What's that based on? What is it? Uh, specifically one his statement that he says that like probably 10% of his audience has consumed child pornography at some point and to the like statement that child pornography should not be made illegal. Okay, well, let's just ignore the fact that that entire second point is literally based on not getting what Vosh was trying to say in that conversation that we've a, gone over a hundred times. I think it was running cover for people who have consumed it. Sure, well, let me ask you a bit mm. about the Salvo stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. So you claim that him calling you like six times is harassment. What were the 40 uninterrupted Vosh messages? Would you call okay. those harassment? What about the one when you told Vosh to own his CP stance in, in his private message. Was that pedophile stuff? I'm just wondering. When did I tell him to kill himself? Who cares? You do okay, IBS, so, faggot. So, so, like, so what do you on, mean? No, oh, no, he's no, gonna no, kill no, himself! No, literally, no, literally, no, literally, no, literally, no, literally, every single person dude, in oh, right said, now, KYS, told someone else to kill He's such a loser, himself. dude. That's Holy a, shit. That is the We're gonna moralize KYS? What? Literally every single person in this entire call has told someone else to kill himself. You know when that, you know when that, point you can make. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know that? Hold on, just one second. Second, what, Flamenco? You gonna do it? Jump! One second, Mike. What, one jump, second, Flamenco, Mike. jump! Do you know when that timing was? When? When you were being called a What's pedophile? What's the timing? Were you were you gonna was jump? Everyone was calling me a pedophile? Oh, God. Okay. okay we gotta think about okay, Flamenco's okay, feelings, okay, guys. Nick, Nick, since you brought- since you brought up your fucking special- um, special needs friend, if Xander Hall was by me told to go and kill himself during, like, when everyone was calling him some sort of weird- Did you notice he started or... stuttering when he talked about Xander Hall as if the tick just went off? Oh my God. Nick, you're the one who brought him up, you fucking fat retard. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, would you, would you have as... <laughs>
Would you have as much uh, charity for me if that happened? Flamenco, I'm out of charity for you. I was out of charity for you when you... So you're not going to oh, answer can you the question. you repeat it? I wasn't paying attention. I was still laughing yeah, at the no, last Yeah, I you generally you don't do that whenever you decide that you don't fucking engage with people. It's really fucking cute how that happens when other people will engage Boggy, with you. Foggy, Foggy, can you tell Flamenco he's doing a good job so the community doesn't hate him God. after this combo? So, Flam, basically, I mean, the point that Nick's making, and it's, it's one that, you know, I, I have no <laughs> hatred for you, but I'd have to agree with it. Like, you're in a community of people in which you've yeah, had no... Yeah, if, if, no, 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 no. I, I'm, can I just make a point, please? Yeah. Uh, you're, you're in a community of people which has had no, you know, absolutely no issue with, like, making fun of people, calling each other In a community, you know, the IBS. You know, this guy fucking hangs out and frequents yeah, Kiwi Farms. He's in it, the threads. It, it, yeah, <laughs> He's yeah, reading his own okay, thread, okay, like, okay. eight hours wanna, in between when they're shitting on finish real quick. I just want to make the point. Yeah. So, so we were talking about this, and we kind of made that point to you, and you were like, okay, well, I get that, but the real issue is that, you know, I'm friends with Mike, is I think the wording you said. That's what I understood. Friendly. Okay, friends, friendly. That's the understanding understanding yeah. I had is that you were cool with Mike. Then Mike yeah. comes in here and Mike's like, I don't fucking know you. We like interacted like twice. Like we don't really know each other. I make parody songs about everyone. You know yeah. what I mean? So, so that's what he's saying. And and then, you know, Nick brought up something that jogged my memory. And I got to say, he has a good point. The fact that you were threatening to send a letter to Xander Hall's mom to like try yeah. to get him evicted or whatever. Like that's, yeah, that's definitely pissed off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But it's not just you, that you were pissed these off. These pissed like, off like, there's, moments. There's no, there's no justification for that. Like it's hard to feel bad for you when someone makes a joke song calling you a pedophile when you were like on stream like advocating for sending a letter to someone's mother because you didn't like their the like, YouTube videos or some stupid shit like it's just I don't know the yeah, salvo guy I, too this guy pretended that. he leaked my cock to the internet <laughs> Nick faking nudes and being called a pedophile are kind of different things isn't would you not agree I but also wouldn't want my nudes circulating if they were real answer, and I wouldn't want people but to but think but that I had nudes out there if they were made both of these are bad for you don't need to avoid them this hard dude flam flam he's not even avoiding it he's not even avoiding he's treating it no, like a joke because he is no he's treating it like a joke because you're avoiding the point that we're all making and the point that we're making is that you engage in the same exact shit and if anyone else in the community had a song made I on don't them don't engage about, in the same shit though i'd never fucking call people pedophiles go, you play in the mud why, why, why is why is Wait, calling someone a pedophile so mud. over the line why what is calling mud. someone a pedophile in a joke song so over the line when you were threatening to get someone evicted or some shit or like send a letter to his fucking mom to xander hall's mom to tell the person what they were saying online something i didn't actually do by the way Wait, no no you would have done it if no one stopped you if augie no, didn't get was already cooling no you. no i was already walking it back okay like, uh, okay you were already walking it back on stream you were already walking back because your chat told you to walk it back yeah people were telling me that was like fucking chimping out yes and you were but if that was in your private yeah. thoughts and you had no one to tell you to stop doing that because it would look bad then you would have done it if you thought people well, would i probably like, would have hey, cooled off epic. I, I feel like i would have probably cooled down i mean way. maybe you can feel that way but i have no indication to believe that yeah fair enough i have no reason to believe that so it's like it's, it's hard it's, it's it's hard it's hard sorry it's i hard. i actually i gotta go so i want to say something really quick okay. so the two main points that everyone has been making ever since this whole thing started is one that you shouldn't have even taken the whole thing seriously in the first place and two it's very hypocritical even though you haven't called someone else a pedophile you have laughed and shared songs where mc jarbo mc jarbo technically doesn't even call ethan ralph a pedophile he has ethan ralph with his own words call himself a pedophile which i would argue is like way worse I just want to say, for anyone listening, this is a classic example of the Streisand effect. You blew this up, and now people that I hate, Ethan Ralph and Sen, share the song. They love the song. They're singing along to the song. This is all on you. <laughs> if you literally didn't do anything, it would have played on Salvo stream, and I maybe would have gotten three DMs. Hey, nice song. Yeah, Mike didn't work. even post it. He doesn't now, he didn't even have it on way, his channel. By the way, yeah, by the way I, I was never going to I post it. it. I'm posting it this, this next Friday. So have a great stream, Augie. Talk to y'all later. Peace. Talk to okay. Mike. Yeah, Flamenco, I'll give you like two hours to cool off and admit that everything I said is correct. Uh, and in the meantime, leave those kids alone. Uh, yeah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And Nick ran away, and Nick ran away. But he didn't run away. What else could well, you say did, to him? Because I was fucking talking to him before then, and he didn't oh, okay, answer my fucking question. Flamenco, what could you possibly say to him that would change I must no, admit. I, I want to ask you, Nick. I want to ask you, Nick. If during, are you gonna listen? I'm not interrupting you. Okay. If during like a really really bad time, somebody is like actively calling somebody like that like a pedophile or something and then somebody goes into their dms and tells them to go fucking kill themselves you think that might be like a little bit different and yeah, nut up and like do something about it don't be a little crybaby online about it oh my god he told me to kill myself when i was at my you're, lowest you're the one that were you in a bad headspace were you gonna flag a channel down xander hall. so like which one is it? i don't is, give a is, fuck about xander hall the, nick you fucking literally, xander hall can go kill nick, himself you too literally fucking said i <laughs> stalked him dude so which one is it nick which one is it nick <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, Xander Hall, don't harm yourself. No, I'm, I'm saying that you stopped him because you're weird. I don't care about Xander Hall. I don't care if you post up outside his house. It doesn't affect me. is it, Nick? Is it harassment or is it just a joke? You're like schizo. Okay. Yeah, I'm not the one holding two different fucking, like, mentalities on this thing at once. Flamenco, you could be schizophrenic and Xander Hall could be a loser at the same time. Okay. I think we need to hear from Xander Hall. No. I'm gonna bring on his mom. Hold on. Let's go. Let's bring on Xander Hall. Xander Hall's mom. We can get on Act Man's mom as well. All right. Do we have anything else? I don't. I don't want to run. Being called. Lord knows, I don't do a lot of running. Do you have anything you want to say to Nick before before we exit? I mean, I don't know. This this feigned impartiality. Like I I. I'm not impartial. I don't like you. No, this feigned impartial. Yeah, I know you don't like you. Okay, it's it's done now. Like I know. Bridge burned. Okay. Fantastic. Finally, you got actually, you know, say what you actually mean for the last like. Dude, does that mean you're no more phasmophobia? What the fuck? Flam, ah. I've always said what I meant. Ah. I don't want to hit you, but I do. Oh, bullshit. You're, you're like, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. You you actively fucking lied when I uh, called you out on saying that you didn't like my channel, and you're like, I never said that. It's like, guess you. I don't. Did. I, I don't dislike your channel. In fact, I've you watched it multiple times. You said that. You you really want to lie about that, bro? I watched your Ralph coverage. What are you talking uh -huh. about? You. No, Nick, you actively fucking. What does any of this mean? What, what is this like, clip, dude? Well, what, what is this like? Do you, do you want me to give you like, pointers you know, on just, how you can improve like, it? It's it's Nick's like sort of like aloof. I'm like just impartial, and He's I'm not fucking, being aloof. He just shit on you. You've never bro. liked me, and I understand that. No, no, no. There's a difference between like, not retarded, liking you. Augie Nick. will vouch for me that I haven't liked you, but yeah, now you're no. done. You're completely cut off. No, you're 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 out. Oh no, oh no. I'm not gonna have Nick's fucking hot takes, dude. I'm not gonna have the fucking fence riding asshole. Oh no, oh shit. Oh no, dude. Well, I'm not riding a fence. You should leave those you, kids alone. You actively ride fences. No, no, Flamenco, you need day, to dude. leave the kids alone. <laughs> they actively ride fences like every single fucking day. Flamenco, I'm holding a nuclear tape here. A take here. Mm -hmm. The fence might tip over. You have to leave the kids alone. Yeah. <laughs> Nick will break the fence with his weight. What the fuck? That was the you joke I just made, Boblax. Yesterday's jokes today with Boblax. <laughs> All right, then. Real shit. All right, In the words done, of Augie gentlemen. RFD, <laughs> Xander Hall needs to kill himself. No! I didn't say I'm that. Just, Augie, I don't know. Augie, stop bailing this motherfucker out every time he fucks himself, please. I didn't say shit. All right. How, no no more did, fireside how, chats how Augie, with Augie. Did, did Augie. No more, no more uh, community out, redemptions for this guy. Nick, He's a total Augie piece of shit. Me out. Uh, when when you had your little fireside chat with him after the Xander Hall thing, and everyone's like, oh, Flamenco's informed. Yeah. Once. Okay. All right. Well, once is enough. You don't get one a second time. Bye bye. I don't know. Didn't expect that. That was. I mean, I kind of diversion. expected that. Yeah. I kind of expected that. Yeah, just a little bit. What expected? What exactly? For Nick to come on like super hot on that. Um, the second I kind of brought up like you know calling people pedophiles is a lot less like tolerated when it's like certain people, and I don't know. I think that's like, uh, I think that's what kind of got him to come on. Well, do you uh, want to, uh... Hold up Zaptai because you're a cowardly pussy. That's the only reason you did it. You <laughs> no, wanted to use him standard. as a human meat shield because you thought we wouldn't come after you for it. I, human meat I, I, I got, I, I am yeah. I'm just making sure you know that you're a pussy. There's no double standard. Somebody that there is no double standard. They're not even comparable. Somebody you don't like not even, a not even remotely comparable, uh -huh. Flamenco. If somebody was calling you a pedophile, I would defend you 100 fucking percent. I don't even have to like you to like to defend you on that. Uh -huh. You're a pussy. Yeah, I'm a pussy. Yes. Yeah. And you're okay, pathetic. Buddy. Okay, buddy. I don't have okay. to make sure everything goes by committee before I actually give hot takes on the internet, dude. That's good. Nobody listens yeah. to them. <laughs> guess not. All right, are we done? All right. Okay. Um, I, I guess my take on this basically is that I do see the hypocrisy stuff with Flamenco, but also if Mike the Bike made a song like that about me, and I would be, I would be mad too. But uh, maybe I'd be hypocritical as well for that. Leave I don't those know. Kids alone, but Bob I mean, I can see why it's annoying and stuff, but I. I can also right. see why it's kind of hypocritical considering right. what Lamb has covered in the past. So oh, like you're the fence sitter. Choose a side. No, Pick a Bobax side, right or left. Pick a is side, Bobax. Children, Children are pedophiles. Children I'm are just pedophiles. saying it makes sense why he's upset, but also it is kind of hypocritical. Well, Flamenco, thank you for coming on. I'll talk to you later, I guess. See you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I guess my takeaway is that uh, quickly, I do quickly. kind of think that I probably blew it out. Yeah, I, I definitely probably blew it up just a little bit with You uh, don't see Mike, the hypocrisy but, um, argument at all? You don't see it? I can Tom see it. To an extent, but like, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel as if Salvo's going like a little harder than I've ever gone at like somebody else. You know what I mean? Dude, oh, I, that's, that's not, not impossible. That's just being biased. It's not possible that that's the case. You know what happened to Ethan Ralph, bro? I look at Salvo. Yeah. It's like if Ricky Berwick made an argument against me or something on Twitter. Like if Ricky Berwick started like shitting 
me randomly. Do you think I would get like offensive or something? If Ricky Burke fucking straight up, if Ricky Burke called me a pedophile, he was like, nah, 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 oh, you're a pedophile. <laughs> fucking licking his tongue, dude. I don't think I would give a shit. If he called you a pedophile. It's the same way that I look right, at Salva. If he called you a pedophile right after Instagram wake up, would you feel like a little bit attacked by him on that one? Honestly, you know what? It's impossible for me to answer a fucking hypothetical. But given how much I self deprecate and make every fucking situation that happens around me into a joke, I feel like I probably would laugh at it. There's Fair no enough. way for me to say that for sure, but I feel like I probably would. Especially because, again, it matters to me where it's coming from. If a fucking yeah. article on the Washington Post comes out by Taylor Lawrence, call me a pedophile. It's a little bit different than if fucking Ricky Burroughs, like, yeah, 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 pedophile, yeah. or Smaggle does a video, he's like, oggy, 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 fucked kids. Like, it wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't register anything to me. That's the same way I look at Salvo. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, I'll talk to you right. later. Fair enough. Jesus Christ, what a fucking segment. That was a lot more uh, brutal than I thought it would be. Yeah, Nick kind of. Uh, dude, even, you know, I was going to talk about Nick. Mike fucking. <laughs> yeah, my, Mike kind of. I almost yeah, feel bad for Flam hammer, getting dude. shit on that hard. Jesus. It was like, I felt like. Uh, I didn't like the I don't know. comparison he made, but. Uh. No, I think he's wrong. I think he's totally in the wrong. And oh. I like, there's there's no way around it. I don't see how you can both sides this one. Like he totally, he, like he fucked up. I mean, Nick's right. He's in, he's an IBS, right? He's an IBS. There's no way around that. Look, during the like Nick Fuentes drama, one thing that was said on the other side that I actually kind of agreed with is the drama community is like, and this is not even something I agree with. This, this is just something that I know. Drama and internet fucking gossip communities are fucking toxic. You know what I mean? And we're not too much different. Now, as far as I know, yeah. we don't fucking lie about people. You know what I mean? Like, we're not, like, fucking malicious towards people. In terms, of, like, the jokes that we make and the way that we act, you know, I made a video on Brazo, right? If I was a normal person, I would just made a video being like, wow, this is really messed up. People shouldn't do this. But instead, I make a video being like, this little fucking cocksucker kid, this little fucking loser over here making this fucking video, like, delete your channel, bitch. You know, like, the community that, we're, that we come from is toxic. And to some degree, we play a different role in that toxicity. I just think once you enter that field, there's a lot of things that happen to you that a normal person might have the right to complain about, but people like us, we sort of lose, we we sort of forfeit that privilege to complain about, you know, things like that, and especially when they're coming from fucking jokes. It's and not even just stuff. people yeah, I agree like with us, that. right? It's not even just people like us, like Augie, like you joke, you make like pedo jokes a bunch now on Twitter, right? Oh yeah, like if, I used to be against were, that, but I think it's the funniest shit in the world right now. Yeah, if you were to complain about like some like like even me being like little like like pedo RFC, like that would be crazy because like you make jokes about that all the time. Time, right yeah now if i was making a sincere allegation if i was going out of my way for <laughs> and that, then i'm like, just like what the fuck you know like yeah yeah different. obviously that would be different but it's like 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 mike made like a song he made a song about flam and then flam was like do people not take you seriously in this community and it's like well not really like I, i've never I, like, i'm not saying this to offend mike but obviously he'd agree with this no one goes to mike for hot takes right we go to mike for the stupid song we go to yeah. mike we go to mike for the dumbass songs which are great he's yeah. great at what he does he's not like in the commentary community is like someone we go to to be like oh what's mike got to say on this fucking issue you know it's not like that at all and in that way like I think I think Flam needs to realize like you know you reap what you sow a little bit and he he didn't even get that much I mean this song relatively speaking is not that bad it's not the worst that will happen to him and I'm confident in saying that it's not the worst thing that will happen to him in this community no one's opinion on Flam would have changed if he de never like came out and complained about it like and I get like seeing that song and being like upset but then to complain about it to the extent he has on Twitter and stuff that just shoots him in the foot no I mean don't get me wrong if I saw the song I'd probably see that it a little bit yeah but but, but you've got to be able to hold that in have some yeah I, but i would, uh, I would I, yeah i would like seethe in private for like maybe a day or half a day and then like say nothing online and then forget about it that's how i yeah. would do it probably i mean I at know. the end of the day at the end of the day like there's this whole thing around like people taking criticism i'm willing to say that like most people probably can't take criticism but you need to like force yourself to just not acknowledge it or like deal fuck with it criticism in, like, <laughs> yeah me. sure fuck criticism and uh can i, I can i get know. more word in yeah. sure i actually want to talk about everything else tom just said because he's 100 percent right oh, i've Oh, been fucking triggered by Salvo before. 100 fucking percent. Augie can attest to this. Now, um, I did it in DMs, which was smarter. Nick was in tears, dude. He turned on that camera, man. Dude, I can't, I can't wait to see Salvo was... clip this and be like, Nick Diorio admits to see things. And he can. <laughs> and you know why? And he can. You know why? Wait, wait, wait. And he can. You know why? Because he's funny. Unfortunately, oh, Salvo Pancakes is like the only thing in this community trying to be funny. Now, he doesn't always hit. All right, that's his biggest problem. He's not always the the it's biggest hitman. After I talked to him, it kind of ruined the uh, the mirage for me on on Doc Stream, and then um, I I felt kind of bad because this whole dick pic thing got fucked because Ralph tweeted it out and everyone immediately said it was fake instead of like at least you know going with a joke for a little while. I don't know. The guy is edgy. I actually had a conversation. This is why I was 
surprised Flamenco said what he said about like you wouldn't defend me because you don't like me or something. Salvo like was on call with me and he goes, Flamenco is a pedophile who molested his sister. And I said, no, there's no absolutely no fucking way that's true. Stop or whatever. Uh, like don't do that. And then he stopped. <laughs> yeah, Typically, if you go like too far with Salvo, he 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 backs off. Well, like the thing I, I is, is, like that's the why, that's the reason why I don't know. I don't want to like kill the bit too much by explaining like fucking Salvo because I don't I don't want to kill the character at all. But that's just why I don't take. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like you're right, dude. We do need some funny shit on the internet, man. Especially in this fucking community. Now this year has been great with when it comes to all this community drama and the lore, dude. I feel like the lore has gotten some pretty good fucking updates this year. Um, <laughs> some good patch shit, notes coming in. The patch notes for like this simulation that we're in in RFC have been pretty good this year, right? And that's why we need some fucking characters, you know. There's a dude, reason. Dude, nothing sucks more than an A logger. Okay, nothing. Nobody wants to wake up every day and have somebody like I'm fucking being dead. annoying, go on on every stream, crying about you, bitching about <laughs> you, talking shit about you every single fucking time. And like nobody wants that, but that's why we're so good at what we do because we do that to other people. I, I obviously don't support him calling anybody a pedophile when they're not a pedophile. But again, like I, I don't know, this guy's hard drive for fucking retard comedy, a commentary drama. He's like <laughs> he's the onion for pedo allegations. I mean, nobody's taking that guy seriously. Dude, we're gonna wake up tomorrow and it's gonna be like big YouTubers, Augie RFC, and Nick caught raping kids. <laughs> that's gonna be yeah, literally. That's gonna tomorrow. be the that's gonna be the lore. He's like, well, they said it was fine on the stream last night. Yeah. I have right yeah. here like saying that where i'm allowed to tell this joke what? and he like reaches out to taylor lorenz and she writes an article about it and then we get fired for our job oh wait oh, that's just me but yeah are you are you are you done done with flam now as a yeah absolutely world? fuck that shit dude what do, you, what do you think should happen to flamenco do you think I, he should be crucified not my, should yeah. he be thrown should, should he be in solitary i think every day that flamenco breathes is one two i'm just kidding no i don't know <laughs> whatever he should go make his fucking videos i don't but know he should leave the kids alone <laughs> yeah absolutely dude <laughs> time out time out time out what Whoa. the fuck is wrong with you? Before Jesus, Glink comes in, before Glink ears. comes in, before Glink comes in, play that. Holy before, fuck. It's gotta go now, it's gotta happen. Play what? Did he link? Play oh. what? Did he DM me something? Flamenco, yeah, well, I'll give you like two hours to cool off and admit that everything I said is correct. Uh, and in the meantime, leave those kids alone. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Nick ran away, and Nick ran away. I think I think Nick was being fair, and I think Augie was being fair. Um, I, I don't know, maybe I was just like, got a little, um, maybe I got like a little like uh, hot under oh the collar God. specifically. Nick's with, such uh, a dick, he edited this! <laughs> like, what? sort of stuff. How did he already get this like- <laughs> <laughs> this just Dude. happened. This is so fresh. What the fuck? Wait, wait. If wait. only he made YouTube videos as fast. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, what? This guy's a dick. Wait, Flam's literally saying like, you know, I, I, I think he's being fair. Nick's just like, whoa, fucking posted on Twitter, dude. Yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, he said, I'm gonna wait for you to admit I'm, I was being fair, and then he did. Oh my god. Well, you know what? Fair enough, right? I mean, that's kind of funny. RFC After Hours is a live trending issues and entertainment broadcast with co-host Boblax, broadcasted every weekday, Monday through Friday, starting at 6.30 p.m. Central. The show is for entertainment purposes only. All chat messages and donations read are the words of the original messenger, and certain viewpoints expressed do not reflect that of myself or Boblax.